Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here. This tutorial is a request from one of my regular viewers. Uh, they wanted to know how to install and set up Scrivener for Windows using Wine. Now if you're not familiar with Scrivener, it is a very popular piece of writing software. It's really geared for um, screenplay writing, novel writing, anything where it's a very long piece of work and uh, and the reason being is that Scrivener allows you to not only organize your writing but all the research that goes along with the writing so really really great tool for like I said screenplay writing the novel writing probably even like uh, if you got some major research papers it would probably work out pretty good for that as well uh, there is a Linux version which is in beta unfortunately because it's still in beta a lot of the features are not available uh, however you can go and install the Windows version through Wine and yeah, everything works great now there's a little bit of work behind getting the application to set up so that it looks good and, and runs right uh, and so that's what I'm going to show you today so first thing I'm going to do let me go and grab Google Chrome, drag it on over here. Here is the uh, uh, Scribner's homepage, and uh, I'll leave a link down below so that you can take a look at it. And, and also, if you're not familiar with Scribner, um, I have a previous video that I did kind of as an overview of the, the Scribner um, writing software. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check that out so that. Uh, uh, you know you can read about some of the features and see all that kind of stuff that sort of thing so anyway we're here on their home page I'm gonna do the download for Windows and we'll download that and while that is going on uh, I will tell you that yes we are going to run this through wine but we are going to use play on Linux now if you're not familiar with play on Linux it is essentially a front end for wine and allows you to have various I guess you could think of it as wine containers uh, and the reason being is that if you've got several Windows applications that are that you're running through wine not all of them are going to run optimally with the same settings and what uh, play on Linux allows you to do is have separate settings for each individual application so having said all that while this is downloading we're going to go over here to wine hq and in wine hq this is uh, essentially a database here of um, what what works well running wine and that sort of things and i've already looked up scrivener and here, let me go and move this image out of the way and as you can see the latest version of Scrivener 1.8.6 the full retail version of Scrivener if you come over here it's been given a platinum rating uh, using wine version 1.7.36 uh, and it looks like somebody rated uh, the previous version platinum using 1.7.38 so we are going to use uh, the 1.7.36 version of wine uh, when we go and install Scrivener so let's get that part started so let's open up play on Linux and before we install a program let's go up here to tools and manage wine versions so we're going to install let, let me check the what did that website say version 1.7.36 so let's scroll down to there and we'll click over to get that to install click next and let it do its thing now I am not going to say that some of these newer versions of wine will not run Scrivener um, you know just for the purpose of this video though I don't want to go and do the testing on a newer version of wine um, you know but anyway you, you know 
you can go, and that's one of the beauties of, of Play on Linux, is that you can go and test all these different versions of wines. Hey, you know what? You know, 1.92 does not work well with this. So, anyway, so I'm going to, while I'm here, I'm going to do both the 64 and 32 bit versions of wine there. Let's just get those installed. Let them do their thing. And I'll tell you what, while I'm waiting for all that to download, I'm going to pause the video and then we'll come back. All right, that download is complete. So we'll close that up and now we will move on to installation. Now, Play on Linux has a bunch of pre-configured settings for all kinds of different pieces of Windows software. Um, you know, they're all categorized up here. You can browse or you can type in whatever you're looking for. So let's say that you wanted to install Microsoft Office. Boom, there they are. Unfortunately, Scribner is not in the list here. So we're going to install a non-listed program. So let's click that. And we'll click Next. Install a program in new virtual drive. We'll call that drive Scrivener. Click Next. And what would you like to do before installation? I'm going to use another version of Wine. And actually this configure Wine and install some libraries. We're going to do that, but we're going to do that after the installation. So let's click Next. Which version of Wine would you like to use? The 1736. Next. And, and actually either one will work in this case. Um, we'll go ahead and do the 64-bit. And it will create our virtual drive. Waiting and waiting. There we go. Okay, so let's find that file that we downloaded. So let's go to, let's see, I think I went to the downloads folder. Uh, yes, there it is. Scribner install.exe. I'm going to open that up. Click next. And it's installing there. It popped up on my other uh, monitor. So, welcome to Scrivener Setup. Click Next. Do I accept this? Yes. Next. Next. And let's install. Okay, that is finished. Uh, I don't need to read the README file because I've read it countless times. Let's finish this. All right, please choose a file for Play on Linux to create a shortcut. And we'll just use that one right there. Click Next. Please choose a shortcut name. We'll keep it as Scrivener. Click Next. And boom, you can see the little icon that popped up right there. And uh, we don't want another shortcut, so let's click Next. And boom, uh, we are essentially done and set up. So from now, you can double click there. Or you can go and put it into your, um, um, you know, into your uh, menu if you've got, a, if you, you know, XSVE, Cinnamon, whatever. Um, so anyway, this is a trial version of Scrivener. If you have gone and purchased a license at this point, you can go and click Enter a License, enter it, and it registers it. Boom, you're all done. Um, I'll put my license in later. We'll just click to try for right now just so I can do a demo on here. And let's go and I will open one of my projects that I've got going on. Let's and use that as a demo. Let's see, Dropbox. Oh really any of these will work. So I'll just pick one. So we'll go to that file I've got there. Okay, so 
here's the layout and whatnot. Now, you may not like the size of the type and all that kind of stuff, so you can go and with Play on Linux, go and tweak the look and that sort of thing. So, let me go and close that up. And we'll open Play on Linux again. So let's go to Configure, Scrivener. Okay, so from here, if you wanted to change to a different version of Wine, you could do that from right here. Um, what virtual drive? You got a few settings there, right there. But let's go into the Wine. Actually, let's go to Install Components first. And we will install the Microsoft fonts. So you get a little better fonting, I guess you could say. Uh, so we'll let that go. So we got that installing. And let me continue here. Um, font Smooth RGB, but you'll get better font, uh, font rendering with that. So let's install that. Control, continue, and we're going to install the Luna theme. Install that. And anything else? We'll install the Tahoma fonts. And Tahoma 2. And is that it? Yeah, that's the, all the stuff that I'm going to install. So let's go back here and let, let those things finish installing. After those install, we are going to click on Configure Wine and do a little configuration here. So with all those components downloaded and in, installed, we'll go to Configure Wine now. and it popped up over in the other display again okay so let's go to let's see graphics this one's probably the one that's going to make the biggest difference by default it's set at 96 dpi which i think is a little small and i'm going to take it up to 115 and we'll apply that and since i installed uh, downloaded that uh, that Luna theme. It's also known as the Royale theme. And there's also Royal uh, Neuer, I guess is how you pronounce it. And that's what we're looking at. That's why the uh, you know fonts are looking better, and it's the the um, everything's kind of configured and and whatnot. Now you could also go and uh, for doing this configuration on you know uh, the the Royale theme and whatnot it uses MS style themes so you can go and download a uh, MS style theme and install that so one of the and let me drag Chrome over here again there is a MS style theme that mat that is designed to match Ubuntu's unity so if you are somebody using regular Ubuntu or have themed your desktop so that the colors are matching you know the default Ubuntu look you can download the file and then from here install the theme and then boom it's going to match the rest of your theming now uh, that's not really my cup of tea as far as theming goes so I'm not going to screw around with that um, and really none of the other things that we've got here I need to play around with the drives uh, I'm gonna leave that default audio no, all of that's the same so we're just gonna close that up and now we will do a Windows reboot so let's take a look and see what those changes did and we'll double click on Scrivener give it a second to fire, fire up and you can see fonts a bit bigger um, go to something that's got a lot more text you know fonts a bit bigger uh, a little easier to read and actually Scrivener does have a lot of options for formatting how everything looks so you can go into even more um, you know detail or whatnot so like uh, you know if you are if you're running 
you know regular Ubuntu Unity you want to use the uh, the Ubuntu fonts you can go in here and go and set everything up so it's all in Ubuntu font and it matches everything else on your desktop so anyway that about finishes this video up uh, if you got any questions comments all that kind of stuff leave it down below I will try to get it to get to it as soon as possible and uh, as always please if you're not a subscriber subscribe and uh, share these videos with everybody else so that uh, we can uh, get more subscribers more viewers all that kind of stuff and uh, as always thanks for watching hope to see you all in the next video